Hello, my name is Meg and I am a senior member of the Kelly Murray Sleep Squad. And today I want to talk to you about the single most important aspect of sleep training success. And that is consistency. It's absolutely essential that you pick a plan and a method that you are comfortable and confident in so that you can execute it consistently. It sounds pretty straightforward and yet so many parents struggle with consistency when they get started with sleep training. So during the sleep training process, it is not, progress is not always linear and there's bound to be some ups and downs it's in those most challenging moments where consistency is super essential in those challenging moments either major progress can be made or a major regression can be had and even put you to backtrack to negative square one so why is consistency so important it's because our little ones need time and practice to master a new skill and falling asleep independently is just that it's a new skill so think of a time when you yourself were learning a new skill and you were a bit frustrated but sure you were making progress and then somebody just stepped right in and did this for you they were depriving you of the opportunity to learn and make progress in your new skill and that's exactly what we're doing when we introduce props back into the process when we are sleep training we are depriving our little ones of the opportunity for learning and growing and we're also sending mixed messages so being inconsistent and bringing props back once you've started Started the process can be very confusing and lead to feelings of uncertainty. They can't understand why sometimes they receive assistance and sometimes they're expected to do it on their own. So why keep working hard on independent sleep skills if somebody may do it for you? Babies and toddlers are pattern seekers. They look for patterns in their day to know what to expect next. When we are consistent in these patterns in our response, it helps them to feel safe and secure. When patterns or our response changes, it can lead to feelings of insecurities because they can't trust what to expect next. When we move forward with consistency in sleep training, we are sending messages that we as parents are confident, sturdy leaders, that everything is okay and that it is okay to to be frustrated. By remaining consistent, we communicate confidence in our baby's abilities to gain this new skill. The fairest thing that you can do for your child is to remain consistent. Once you get started, you don't want to backtrack on all the progress that you've already made. I know it can feel so tempting to go back to a sleep prop, especially in the middle of the night when you are super tired yourself. And then sure, in that moment, if you feed or rock or hold your baby to sleep, yes, they will go back to sleep faster in that moment but in the overall bigger picture, it's going to make things so much harder to move forward. So then the next time and the next time that they cry out, they're gonna cry harder and longer, waiting, hoping, wondering if your response is gonna change or if they're gonna get that assistance to sleep once again. By remaining consistent, we allow our little ones an opportunity to gain a consistent strategy of their own. We allow them an opportunity for growth and learning while instilling feelings of safety and security. I hope that you have found this video helpful. I hope that you are feeling confident to move forward with the sleep training process with consistency. And of course, if you are looking for a support person to move through this process and help you stay accountable to the plan, I am here for you. We can book a free discovery call, hop on the phone and talk about what might be best for your family.